Oh, hey everyone, I'm Alfred. For some reason, my mic was turned down. Uh, welcome back to Morrowind. I'm still sick. And I hung out with my wife all weekend. But on Monday, a video comes out, and it's not ready to. So here we are. So we need to get to... Caldera. Uh-oh. Oh. oh. Well, that's pretty nice. All right. So yes, recall that in Morrowind right now, we're currently going through a little arc to power up our character before returning back to the main quest. Our main stats are now at 60. We have excised stats we're not really going to use. And I wish I could get rid of these three and replace them with maybe athletics. The thing about tagging athletics is that, like, on the one hand, it kind of sucks to have such a basic stat be boosted. But on the other hand, having athletics and acrobatics higher can make your life a little easier. Um, and since they will level up for doing nothing, you can get levels for free, which is pretty nice. By nothing, I just mean jumping and walking into a wall. Well, jumping and walking in general, really. But yes, um, I'm still sick. I've been doing stuff all day. On and off all weekend, really. Uh, I've had IHOP twice this weekend. I've had probably the most expensive meal I've ever had. All right. Take me to Balmora. Why walk when you can run? Take me to... How close do I need to be to Caldera? Caldera is here, right? That's Nisus. That's Caldera. Oh, does Caldera not have a... No, okay. Guess I'm running. My pool's open, and I've actually started swimming to take the... Uh, you know, the hits that I've been doing in here. You know, while I'm here, I should drop off some of the things I don't intend to use. Like, the Daedric Raised Mat, yeah, the Face of Inspiration is cool, and I might like it more than this. Because, like, yes, it does make sense for a mask to be really cool and to be made from a skull and what's more it does give me a lot of stats but it's not as cool as some of the other stuff meanwhile that gives me agility that gives me strength what is sapping my strength? Weird, who knows? Anyway, there's a common trait called restart itis among the Morrowind fans of people who constantly reset the game making that better character and sometimes they just do dumber and dumber things with magic every time or potions I've mentioned how busted both of those systems are but in here um, I'm going to turn my audio 
or the game audio down a little bit so you don't have to talk as loud. I talked to my wife extensively about lore. Uh, Moro and lore, specifically. Oh, there is that always. Cool. But yeah, Sarah, if you're watching, and I assume you are, I just woke up, so I'm recording again because this needs to go up pretty soon. I learned about the Drua recently. Apparently their creation of Molag Ball, the King of Rape, and they had a advanced society at one point. Before they were devolved by uh, the Dunmer. I mentioned that there's uh, 36 Lessons of Vivek about his dealings with um, his dealings with Molag Ball. Hey, I'm back, and wouldn't you know it, I just realized that <laughs> my capture ran out of space. Making this another time. Basically, we're in Caldera. Come here to Gorak Manor. There's a whole chain of deals to do. You go to the top floor. You talk to this guy. You give him the book. Can I? Okay. Do you take me for a fool, citizen? Anyway, you give him the book, you give him 2,000 gold, and he'll make the statue for you. But it'll take 21 days. As of today, it is day 55. So it'll be done on 76, which is quite a distance. So I was going to head back to Balmora, which is directly south of me here. I'm so upset, but yeah, my capture just stopped working and here we are. I mentioned that my computer's filled up quite a couple of times. But yeah, if my estimations are correct... Ooh, 64. Nice. My computer is filled up completely like nine or ten times now. I just feel very upset because I've now, like, more or less wasted some of my voice. Because, as you can hear, I have a very uh, in my voice, so it's very difficult for me. But yes, one thing that was a significant factor in my can you do more one in real life stuff is that you must consider the time that it takes to do these things. And I started these quite a while ago. I can actually check. All right, I just checked. I have been doing this for 70 days in the real world. And part of that was because I took longer breaks in the real world than I did in Morrowind. But if I were to just take the next couple of weeks off... Oh, battle, sure. The next couple of weeks off in game, then it would be perfectly logical for me to do so. It's just stuff, yada 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 yada. So yeah, I've got that going for me. So 
See, it's been 70 days total because I started this at the very start of April. And as you've noticed, damn. I wonder what jump does. I guess it makes my jump longer, that makes sense. Anywho. So yeah, um, suffice to say... Taking a break now would actually be pretty logical. You betrayed Lord Dagoth, taste his vengeance. What are Dreamer's stats put into? Because, like... If I can't hit a naked man, I can only assume it's because the naked man knows something I don't. And if he just has a whole bunch of points in unarmored, that would make a lot of sense. Anyway, I'm going to unload. Now that Caius's house is my house, I have uh, a base of operations to be getting on with. Which is good for me. Because it means that I can reliably leave things there. Fuck Caius, but at least he gave me a house. And I'm going to leave the helm I got from Malakath here. That is certainly a man who is strutting. Man, I am pretty set up, huh? Have I missed Guys' house? I have. It's those stairs. I was goofing around. Lock splitter. Here we go. What a dickhead. Who traps a chest in their own house? All right, let's put this thing down here. I guess that's a little better. I can get up on this table. Amulet of opening, slow phone, common ring, chameleon ring. Alright, I'm gonna go sell off all of my drug paraphernalia. I had some really good IHOP today. Wife got me IHOP. It was pretty great. See, what if I was just like, you know, and now it's day 56, and we have to wait 20 days for that thing to be done. I 
I hate coming at this thing from this way because I never know where it is, but it's here. Ravier. here. 600 gold. I've got some goodies for you, though. You don't buy skooma pipes, right. Well, I've got some skooms for you. How about some wax? How about some... Heart. And from you... I don't know what I'll take. Give me that back. Don't really need that. Boy, do I not need that. There you go, good sir. And then I'm going to stop off with the Fighter's Guild. I'm actually running out of things to do for all the Fighter's Guilds. I think I've only got one or two quests left for the one in um, Aldrun. And I'm done here. That might actually be what we do this time. Hup. Four more duties at the Fighters Guilds. Here's a fine one. Speak freely. Can you? Welcome, friend. I like what I see. What shall we talk about? Okay. Can you take these things off me? Fuck. How about this? It's a belt. Come on. Starting to run out of ability, like the ability to be trained. Yep. Might need to find better, you know, guys to train me. But I mean, this is the Fighters Guild, the Guild of Fighters. That was a waste of money. Why'd I do that? Stay out of trouble and you'll have none from me. <laughs> See, the nice thing about my spear stat being so crap is that I can put a whole bunch of money into it. And just get a whole bunch of loots. And that's great for me. And now we're dry. Okay, cool. I have two more places I want to hit up. And I might do another video of just doing chores for the Fighters Guild. That might be interesting. Alright. Alright. That's two pounds, that's four pounds. That's five pounds. Or five units, I guess. I'm 
Maybe I can sell these off. All right, I know where we're going. We're gonna swing by Vivek, but we're actually going past it. What we're heading to is Ebon Arm, or... No, we're heading to Ebon Heart. Ebon Heart is, uh... My cats are going nuts, pardon me. Ebon Heart is the seat of empirical power in this... in this province. Uh, so it's the most pro-empire you will find. Can you take me... Wealth beyond measure, to Vivek Temple? So there's a few gondoliers around here. There we go. And now from here, we go here. So yes, as has been discussed, Morrowind is the province with primarily its own stuff going on. Um, and it doesn't really need a parlay with the Empire that much, because they've made some deals in the past to ensure that doesn't have to happen. But it is still a member of the Empire, and it is a province of the Empire. So, you gotta have an Empire City. I don't like the Empire very much. That might just be because I'm an American. America is a country that's very publicly anti-imperialist. Whether or not they are is up to debate. Um... But it was a country literally founded on saying fuck you to an empire. The biggest the world's ever seen, the British Empire. Depending on who you ask, of course. So yeah, the Skyrim logo, that's actually the empirical dragon. Since all the good emperors were dragonborns. And they've got this big ass dragon statue here. Greetings, friend to friend. With an outfit like that, you must be doing very well for yourself. You're goddamn right. See, look at that. We can also see that this is a wyvern type dragon, since. Of course. What may I do for you? Um. Yeah, wyvern type dragons are the dragons. Uh, more easily visible in Skyrim. So what we actually want is south of here. We're heading to the Mudan Grotto. A sunken dwar Dwemer civilization. And it's proper out of the, out of the way. What I'm wearing currently on my chest is the heart wall. And it's really solid. Repeatedly in Elder Scrolls. Don't fucking run from me if you're going to attack me. Repeatedly in the Elder Scrolls, there are some notable armor sets. Most of the art artifacts are like swords and that sort of thing. And you want some too, huh? Go to hell. But yeah, most of the artifacts in the Elder Scrolls are swords and other weapons. However, there are a few recurring helmets and other pieces of armor. What we're looking for is something called the Lord's Mail. However, 
as it happens, the Lord's Mail is tied behind a side quest that I don't really want to do. So I was like, well, maybe I'll get the Ebony Mail, since that's also really good armor that's recurring. And as it happens, also a side quest, one I really don't want to do. Level 20, you'll never be better than you are today. If you're lucky by superhuman effort, you can avoid slipping backwards for a while. But sooner or later, you're going to lose a step, or drop a beat, or miss a detail, and you'll be gone forever. Oh. I just get the next one right away. The little messages in between, um... Why can I not? The results of hard work and dedication always look like luck to saps. But you know you've earned every ounce of your success. So you can see that we're starting to uh, plateau here. Wow, this thing is out of the way. Really, man? Let's go say hi to these slaughterfish. As soon as we can. I've got some really good taco meat made. I'm going to make some myself some more uh, soft tacos later. Oh, I'm heading back though, this way. God damn it. Gonna snap. It would be nice if I could get some more scrolls of Ikari in flight. They're the closest thing I have to fast travel. I think I sold them though. Remember that this game has an auto walk button, which is what, and this is what it's for. Because when all is said and done, I still have to type on this keyboard. Though I actually have been thinking about getting a new keyboard. You know, I could stand here and take a uh, skills in Hmm. I could stand here and just take uh, armor levels. But no. And my carry weight's starting to get back up. Good. I need it. Am I? Yep, I'm clipped into the rock. Good job, Todd. I saw this absolutely hilarious post. Someone found out that their dad went to high school with Todd Howard. And so they found Todd Howard's place in the yearbook. And as it happens, Todd was president or vice president of like eight different there we go. was president or vice president of like eight different uh, clubs or groups or schools or something which is why in Skyrim you just become so much... You become the, the president of so many things because Todd thinks that that's a normal thing to do with your time. To be in charge of everything.
one really wonders about how much like continental drift has actually occurred in between the Dwemer leaving and now. Recall that it has been uh, 4,000 years or so since the Dwemer went away. So yes, this is Mudan Grotto. It is a very, very underwater dungeon. How the air in here is not stale is probably a miracle, but maybe it connects to the outside somehow. And yeah, we're just honest to God s s swimming through here. Little air pocket. A lot of fish. You gotta have fish. Great. Don't you love when you dive all the way down to the bottom of something and you use half your oxygen? More than half, in fact. And of course you can't rest in here because you're swimming. You can't rest when you're swimming. have to be oxygen in here, would there? Guys, come on. How about over here? Is there oxygen? There is. Jeez. So hey, if you're playing an Argonian and you happen to want a really big set of armor. Oh, here we go. It's one of the only uh, amunculi we found. Animunculi, I believe they're called, actually. Which, as you probably know from Skyrim, are the remnants of the Dwarver Society. Robots that they put together. Halfway decent dwarven spear. And of course this guy is pretty recognizable. Dwemer Graves. Lock splitter. Dormer coin, and a key to the vault. Perfect. Hopefully that'll save me a lock splitter later, because I want to save one for something. I'm going to rob Deviath Fear. I don't remember what I'm robbing him for. But I know I wanted to steal from him. Perfect. So yeah, things like this where you... I don't have a potion of water breathing, do I? I think I used it earlier already. Well... Oh, I've got Swift Swim. It's perfect. All right, where does this take me? Key to the vault. That's boogie friend, huh? 
Man, those things look cool. Steam Guardian. Dumber Guardian Key. Scrap Metal. Not really worth my weight. Potion of Heroism. I like the sound of that. Master Armorer's Hammer. The Dragonbone Queerass. So, it's 180 armor. We're now immune to fire. Because, you know, dragon bone. I don't actually know if we are immune to fire or if it just says that we are, but we already were pretty tough to fire. All right, that's what we came in here for. I both love and hate how, like, normal Dwemer shit has gotten so common in this city, in this part of the continent, really. That buying Dwemer stuff is just, you know, another piece of Dwemer loot. You resisted magic, but you didn't resist knife, did you? Yeah, the Dwemer Jink Sword, which is what I believe that thing's actually called. I often call it the Dalmora Jink Blade. It's such a good weapon. Early game, late game, whatever. I don't think I need Shin. There we go. Oh, great. Hey, my medium armor went up. Just gotta escape. All right, and then we got to rob Devith Fear, and I think that'll be the end of this episode. Yeah. I got to remember that because I lost my recording. I've got to add a couple of minutes on. I'm also going to have to edit these back into two episodes. Or I could just upload them. You know, separately. I suppose there's no reason to do that, but... Uh. Alright. Come on, now. I got turned around. I'm going the wrong bleeding way. Will you stop? Will both of you? Come on. Behave yourselves. Well, that ain't good. Breathe, the Nervar. I don't know why I jumped there. Maybe I just had a random muscle spasm. that a kick in the head all right come on now all right now I've just got to head back to tell fear and I'll do that off camera you guys want to know something funny I just noticed I actually have a potion of water breathing
Alrighty, flooping hard. And while I'm here, I'm gonna go to um, Vivek, and I'm gonna head to St. Olm's because I realized I actually have a bounty to pick up here. What's up, Nixhound? I believe Nixhounds were used to hunt Drua at some point, which is weird. What happened there? Oh, I'm dry of stuff, right. Cork bulb. All right, just got to get across the water here. It'd be nice to get some water walking scrolls because it's kind of a pain in the ass. Whatever. Good day, though. Hey, my heavy armor increased. I think I actually have a... No, I don't. Whatever. I was going to say, I might have a level to take, but I took all of those. Is that a draw on land? Certainly is. Speaking of draw... Shout out to Vivek. I don't know if I like Vivek. I don't really think I do, but he is one of the most interesting characters in all of the Elder Scrolls. I mean, would you betray your best friend for immortality, supreme power, and a bargaining ship to match the gods? Yeah, I might. And that's the problem, you know? When someone says, I wouldn't give you away for the world, you know, I wouldn't trade this for the world. What actually happens when the world presents itself? Yes, Vivek betrayed his best friend, but a city is named after him. He has complete control of his home province. He is able to say that the laws say whatever he wants them to say. And he's one of the only people who can do anything about the empire that is encroached on everything else in Tamriel. And a few things without. I think really the only real way to play this game is with a wiki page open, because... You're not really going to get a lot of stuff done without without it. Speak of the devil. Maybe if I drink some of the 15 units of potions I have, I'll have a little bit more of a time. Screw you, buddy. Do you think they feel alive when biting a player character? Slaughterfish, I mean. A cruel viper sword, that's pretty cool sounding. Is that cool ca uh, scale mail thing? Yeah, Imperial Dragon Scale. Wow, look at that. Ooh, another lock splitter. I 
ash statue. Those aren't that worth it. Let's see if I can lockpick this, huh? Titan spear, socks, and a bowl. Really, guys? Actually, while I'm here, let's do a little... That was wrong. Whoops. Oh, it didn't say until healed because I was at full health last time. That makes sense. Sip of the grief. And let's keep looting. More ash. I don't know if I've ever, like, described a term for this, but, like, starting to get to Elder Scrolls Critical Mass, where, like, Scroll of Healing, nice. Eye maze, huh? Well, I'll take it. And let's see if we can't lockpick this, huh? Probably. There we go. Ring a ding ding. Ooh, I like it. Newt scale cuirass. Grandmaster's probe. I like all that. I don't know if I've mentioned this before, but Fetcher is a slur, one that means slave. Right, wrong thing. Drink the matzah. See what you're made of. I wonder if they think I look like a loser throwing these shurikens at them. I mean, it is working. Shard blade. Some nice lockpicks. That's good. I like that a lot. Empty bottles. A lot of empty bottles. Sorry, I've got the hiccups. Look at that. And why don't we just, you know, sleep for another day? Oh no, the Dark Brotherhood. Truly, how will I ever survive? Miserable. Jackass. What day is it now? It's 62. Hello there, son.
Question of burden. Oh, it adds. Yes. Oh, two of you guys. You know, you're too pathetic, right? Come on now. Oh no, looks like I'm gonna have to dip into my potions. Bro, you had a Daedric Wakazashi? Yoink. And you did too, wowzers. I'll leave these chumps here. Healer. Well, thanks, I guess. Now I will start heading back to Vivek. Which we are luckily pretty close to. This guy will be able to give me so uh, give me a lift to St. Alms. This is Telvani. Okay. I kind of wish that this place had more Silt Striders. Um, take a look here. Vivek, Lalu, Redoran, St. Ellen, Ebonheart, St. Alms. I guess I can just walk it, huh? Actually, can you help me find the guy I'm looking for? Guess not. Vivek Arena and St. Holmes is here. Yeah. What's up, Ordinator? What is it? So I mentioned that these guys wear masks that the helmets where the mask on the helmet looks like one Nereverine. Which is why we know exactly what Nerevar, Nerevar looks like. I'm a sleeper, one among thousands. Bring you a message. Dagathar calls you. Uh, yada yada yada. Enwa must die. Slave and four beast and man all must die. What is this about? You will not 
Well. Sucks to suck. Yeah, St. Holmes. I don't know if we've been here. Gracias Curio. Uh, he's in Lalu. We'll talk to him later. We are looking for Drosakar. What is it, Sam? No, we're not. Oh, I'm looking in the wrong place. Joseph Gar comes later. We are fighting... Someone in Sargon. Hmm. Okay. Well. While we're here, what if we killed that guy? Wouldn't that be funny? Where is he exactly? One of the homes off the south side canal. Canal south two. This is South 1. Now, this is a pretty decent digs here. I mean, it's not like amazing, but... Oops, I don't need that. Jug, jug. Alright, now I need to find my way back up to the top of it, and then I'm going to silt strider around until I get to Balmora again, and I'm going to drop some things off. Alright, so I stopped in in Balmora, I sold a bunch of my junk, um, and I bought like a large supply of hammers? Yeah. So I'm going to go to my house, drop off stuff that I don't need. And I guess keep everything else in here. Let's do it on this table because then I can drop stuff on the table if I'm done. And I'll do this off camera. Oops. I guess this is fine though. So I put some stuff in here. Now I'll just put all these in here.
think that's everything, right? Oh, yeah, I'll put these crack pipes in here because I can't sell them. And I'm not really using these, but I'll put them in here anyway. Yeah, I bought more throwing stars. I th I'll put this in here, too. Because I don't really need it. All right. Now let's go rob an old man. Outland. What do you want? Truly, who knows? So, Deviath Fear lives at Tell Fear. Which is out here, right? Yep. The nearest place to there is... Suran. Great! I hate going to Suran. But that's where we're heading. Unless I could go... Well, that wouldn't really work, would it? I'll go to Aldrin. It's cheaper by one gold anyway. All right, now, just got to run all the way to there. Hey everyone, I've just realized that the thing that I would be breaking into Devath Fear's house for is a chest piece. And I've just gotten one of the other best chest pieces in the game. So I don't really need to do it. So we're heading to Mangar. While we're here, I'm going to figure out where Sargon is. Why would you want to go there? Well, it's your business. What is this about? That's really cool, guys. I really like the vibe. Why are you here? Let's see what we can find it. Oh, let's see if we can get rid of our stuff here, actually, because I don't want that. Or that. I want that. Don't need really that. I'll need that. Let's see. Anything else on you? Restore health? Sure. Ooh, more restore health. Disease resistance? Get out of town. And some restore health? Ooh, don't mind if I do. Take that rat meat off of me, huh? What? It's an alchemy ingredient. You know what? Actually, I can end this episode here. Um, this has been Morrowind, everyone. Thank you guys for coming by for this Ark of Morrowind. So next time, I'm going to do some stuff with the Fighters Guild. And I'll call it... But I'll, I'll do that next time. So this time, we did some good stuff. And yeah. Morrowind. So I'll see you guys next time. Bye. Oh yeah, I've been out for this has been Morrowind. Sorry, I'm out of it because I'm sick. Blah. See you guys.